Hello friends, let's understand the difference between forward contracts and futures contract. As we know, fundamentally there are four categories of derivative products. Number one, forwards. Number two, futures. Number three, options. And number four, swaps. Forwards I have explained in detail in derivatives 201 series. And in derivatives 301 series, I will be explaining futures contracts in detail. So let's now understand the six key differences between forward contracts and futures contracts. The first difference between forward contracts and futures contract is that the forward contracts are OTC or custom contracts, whereas futures contracts are standardized and exchange traded contracts. The examples of forward contracts include a direct deal between a farmer and a consumer of a farming product for buying a certain quantity of a product at a future date. So this is a custom contract. The quantity of the produce being sold and bought, the price, the place at which it will be delivered and the terms of settlement are specific to the requirements of those two specific parties. Whereas if we talk about futures contracts, an example would be let's say Nifty 50 futures on national stock exchange or Nifty banks or maybe an equity futures on BAC or NAC. In this case, the exchange has standardized all the terms and conditions of that particular contract. How much is the value of the underlying? What is the settlement date? What is the trading period at the end of which the expiry happens? Uh, what is the margin requirement and so on and so forth. So as we can see, the forwards are custom and OTC products, whereas the futures are standardized and exchange traded products. The second important difference between the forwards and the futures contract is that in case of forward contracts, the contract size or the ticket size is typically very large. For example, the forward contract for the farmer selling to a consumer would be typically in let's say metric tons. Whereas in case of a futures contract, the contract size could be small. Let's say a a grain being sold at let's say 5 metric ton and each contract is 5 metric tons. Whereas in case the two parties are entering into a deal directly, they are likely to transact a bigger amount. Yet another example of a forward contract could be a forward contract between two parties for exchanging USD with INR. And maybe that's for let's say 1 million or 10 million USD. Whereas you can buy 25,000 USD for a futures contract on the national stock exchange, which is a small in size. The number three difference between forwards and futures is that forward contracts are mostly in the nature of genuine hedging of risk. For example, in if you are a producer of let's say iron ore, you will enter into a forward contract with the buyer because you are afraid that the iron ore price might go down. When you produce the iron, the buyer is afraid that the iron ore price might go up by the time they buy that particular item in future. So forward contracts are mostly in the nature of genuine hedging products. Whereas in case of futures, since they are listed on the exchanges, they have a lot of liquidity, they are easy to buy and sell and also the margin requirements are less. There is a lot of speculation as well as arbitrage in the futures contract. So the fundamental reason why people enter into forwards versus futures could be different. The fourth important difference between forwards and futures contract is that the parties to the contract are different. In case of forward contracts, typically it is the businesses, corporates, financial institutions and banks which enter into these kind of contracts. For example, a big farmer entering into a contract with the, let's say, the dairy producer or for example, the bread producer for selling, let's say, a milk or wheat. Whereas in case of futures contract, lot of individuals, traders, brokers are involved on the exchanges because the contract sizes are typically smaller and the commissions or the brokerages are low. Uh, they need to also put in a very less amount of margin in order to get a higher amount of volume to trade. Hence, the parties to the contract typically in case of forwards and futures are different. The fifth important difference is that in case of forward contracts, there is a direct settlement between two parties. On the specific day which is agreed in the contract, the delivery will be made by the seller and the buyer will pay for the 
delivery. Now, this is a direct settlement. There is no third party involved. For example, if you are entering into a futures contract on National Stock Exchange or Mumbai Stock Exchange, then in that case, there is a clearing house attached to this exchange this through which the settlement is made. So, everybody pays in at a particular time the amounts owned, owed by them and they, they after some time receive the obligations that are due to them from the exchange or the counterparties. Therefore, the settlement of these contracts is different uh, in case of forwards and futures contract. In case of futures contract, there is no specific counterparty. The clearing house has the obligation to settle the trades. The sixth important difference between the forwards and futures is that in case of forward contracts, since there is no clearing house involved and you are directly dealing with the counterparty, there is a counterparty risk. For example, if the counterparty doesn't honor the contract, you may have to follow through through the arbitration if it is specified in the contract or you may have to take the counterparty to the court and your business will suffer. Let's say you have bought certain raw material for your business. Now on the date agreed the seller does not deliver to you the option you have got is to of course take the seller to the court or to the arbitrator but meanwhile your business will suffer because you haven't got the raw material you may have to buy that raw material in the market at a very high price so there's a lot of counterparty risk risk involved in case of a forward contract let's say you make the delivery to the counterparty but the counterparty doesn't pay that is even a bigger risk right so it's a default risk also that you are carrying in case of futures, since there is a clearing house involved, the clearing house takes the ownership and they assure that the commitments are made. So if you have delivered a product, you will definitely get the money that has been assured in terms of the futures contract. The clearing houses collect margins and they also have collateral or other securities from the brokers who are allowed to trade on those exchanges. Therefore, because of the clearing house futures contract, there is no counterparty risk as in case of forward contracts, there is a counterparty risk involved. The seventh important difference between forwards and futures is in terms of the underlying assets. Forwards are very popular, for example, for bonds or fixed income securities, government securities, currencies and commodities. Whereas the futures are popular mainly for indices and equities. I'm not saying that there are no futures in commodities, for example, but the larger size of the contracts is in the forward markets in case of commodities, currencies and fixed income securities. Understanding these differences will help you choose the right kind of a contract to manage your risk better. And with better risk management, you will be able to support your business or your clients better. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If yes, please like the video and let me also know through the comment section. Also, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments so that I can answer your questions. Thank you very much and cheers.